click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi guys, welcome to Ikeda videos. Here we will be learning the chapter number 6 that is oscillators. Now, as far as oscillators are concerned, in this particular topic, we'll have to learn how many types of oscillators are there into picture in the practical sense and how they are going to classify in on the basis of different terms. So we will learn the classification of oscillators. Hello guys. In the classification of oscillators, first of all, we will have to learn that what is oscillator, what is the definition of oscillator and on what basis we will have to learn the classification of oscillators. So first of all, oscillator is nothing but giving the sustained oscillations. So I want this kind of waveform. Okay, so at the output, I want this kind of waveform even f time tending to infinity. So from time t is equal to 0 to infinity, my value of or my signal should look like this as sustained oscillation with same peak to peak value and same nature of the waveform. Now question arises that whether it is of the same shape, for example, I am considering right now as sinusoidal, right? So for that sake, maybe that signal can be square wave, maybe that signal can be triangular wave, maybe that signal can be um, sawtooth wave, right? So that can be possible. So is it look like oscillator? Yes, that is also called as oscillators. So as far as definition of oscillator is concerned, this signal that means output without input. That is the basic definition of oscillator here we are going to discuss. Now, as far as classification is concerned, we will classify these things on the basis of the shape of the signal, right? So first classification here we are going to take as feedback oscillators and the second is relaxation oscillators. Now, question arises, what is the difference between feedback oscillator and relaxation oscillator? Here, we have already discussed about the definition of feedback oscillator. That means this oscillations is depends on the feedback. The concept is used is positive feedback. So positive feedback is the principle on which feedback oscillators are designed. About relaxation oscillator, these are due to charging and discharging of the capacitors. So, so here we are setting some time for positive half cycle, we are setting some time for negative half cycle. So depending on the time required for the charging and discharging of the capacitor in the circuit, so that forms your relaxation oscillator. Now another major difference as far as feedback and uh, relaxation oscillators are considered, feedback oscillators are majorly designed for sinusoidal signal. So here we will say, so if I am saying I will give the circuit of feedback signal that can be your this kind of signal. So whatever output I am getting that will be in the form of sinusoidal signal having particular phase shift or not that depends on the circuit. So as far as Barkhausen criteria is considered that is for this particular feedback oscillators also. So as time t ending to infinity, my output should be sinusoidal in nature only. So this is the beauty of this feedback oscillator. As far as relaxation oscillator is considered, I can have the square wave. Right? I can have the triangular wave like this. Right? I can have sawtooth wave as well. Sawtooth wave is a subset of triangular wave only if I am having on time and off time is different. In triangular wave, on time is same as that of off time. So that can be possible but just by 
charging and discharging of the capacitors. So now we have just classified on the major background of feedback oscillator and the relaxation oscillator. So we'll just take the examples of feedback oscillators and relaxation oscillators as well. Now as far as uh, the feedback and relaxation oscillator is considered, these are on the basis of sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal in nature. Now as far as the uh, frequency parameter is considered, the classification of this oscillator is of two types. One is for high frequency oscillator and another is of low frequency oscillator. High frequency oscillator and low frequency oscillator. Now, Keep this in mind that whenever I am using the high frequency oscillator, whatever frequency I am getting for this particular signal is uh, in the range of kilo, 100 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz, 1 megahertz or more than that. But in low frequency oscillator, you may get 160 hertz, 200 hertz, right, 300 hertz. So in the range of hertz only. So this is how I have classified. Now, as far as these examples are considered, every time keep this in mind that LC circuit wherever I find in the feedback circuit that will give you high frequency oscillator. Wherever I find the RC circuit, RC circuit that will give you the low frequency oscillator. Now we'll take few examples of this particular LC circuit and the RC circuit as well. As we have to learn these both oscillators in your syllabus in depth. So we will take this particular examples. As far as LC circuit is considered, First, we have to take as Colpitt's oscillator. Second, we have to take as Hartley oscillator. And third, we have to take it as Claps oscillator. Fourth, also, we will have to take as Crystal oscillator. This crystal oscillator is having very high frequency of oscillation. That's why in a majorly we are using the crystal oscillator in your microprocessors because we want the high speed data. Now, as far as RC circuits are considered, first example is nothing but RC phase shift oscillator. Why phase shift and why the name is RC phase shift oscillator that we will cover in detail in particular video where we are looking for RC phase shift oscillator in detail. Second is when bridge oscillator. And third one is 20 oscillator. So on the basis of high frequency and low frequency oscillators, the all the oscillators we have to study in detail in particular videos. As far as relaxation oscillator ke examples are considered, we will look for the example of relaxation oscillator. So, for relaxation oscillator, first of all, we can generate the square wave. So, the circuit will be square wave generator. This can be obtained by using operational amplifier. This can be obtained using bipolar junction transistor and so many transistor FATs and all. Second thing, we can also have triangular wave generator. This is also can be obtained by using operational amplifier, BJTs, FATs, right? And the third important thing we have to consider as multivibrator. So all these multivibrator we are taking for the practical sense with IC555. This IC555 is nothing but the timer IC especially designed to have this kind of uh, waveforms like square wave generator, sawtooth wave generator, triangular wave generator, right? So all these ICs, this IC555 is majorly used for all your mini projects kind of things. So these are nothing but the relaxation oscillator. One more relaxation oscillator is left that is nothing but with another transistor that is UJT as relaxation oscillator. 
This UJT is nothing but unijunction transistor. So this transistor also can be used as a relaxation oscillator to generate the continuous waveform for with particular frequency up to time t tending to infinity. So this is all about the examples of oscillators, classification of oscillator on different basis. Now we will use the different type of oscillator in detail. We will learn that particular in different videos. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this particular video learn and subscribe this particular channel if you have any doubt you can comment on this particular video thank you so much